All right, this is a walkthrough. I'm sorry, it's a little bit dark, but uh, I'm gonna try to light it up as much as I can. So, as you could tell, a lot has changed since I've uh, last showed you guys. Um, I did uh, the box twice, okay? And uh, there's a lot of boxing videos. I don't, I mean, I could show you if you guys want, but uh, see, and this is how I have the stairwell set up. It's just a plank, and then I go from one plank to the other, and I just finish the upper half here for them, and they have another guy finish the bottom, so great for me. And then, see, this is a little washroom. Now I put all my tools ready to go. Clean them all up. And uh, see, that's all I do with the taper. I just sprayed the poop out of it there. And uh, all my pumps and everything. See, I just put one of my gloves on the top just to uh, cover it up, spray a bunch of WD-40 in there, and that's good enough. And the pumps, I just pump a bunch of water through them, and that's it. So now, uh, I just got uh, what I need to finish, so I got my trowel, hawk, and a couple boxes of mud, I got my cordless drill, so now what I got left to do is to skim the corner beads. And I like to do this at the very end because I like to run my angles. See now I gotta, I gotta pick all my three ways because today what I did is I ran all my angles, okay? So um, yesterday I boxed everything. Well, actually I skimmed everything with the 12 inch box and I did my, uh, my, my screws with my nail spotter. And I have a video with the nail spotter too. So box and uh, corner beads, coating corner beads. This is one coat with a 12 inch curved trowel and it does an amazing job. Like, I don't know if you could see that, but like, I'm trying to get a good angle here. You can't even see a line from the, from the corner bead sinking in. See, well maybe, but nope, it, it's beautiful. Honestly, I'm just filling in pinholes. See, and uh, when I, when it comes to the angles, I just do the upper angle and then here, I'll just finish that part by hand. I didn't even put tape because the the space, like look, it's uh, three fingers. So that's about three inches. And then this is one finger. So like the, the trim's gonna cover all that. So I don't even have to finish that stuff, right guys? And here, this bathroom. I like the way they finish it because it's easy for me. See here, the borders didn't even put a piece of drywall. They just left it uh, with the plastic. But again, it's only a couple fingers. So the whatever amount of trim, they're going to have to fill that in. But whatever, it's not my problem. So anyways... And when it comes to closets, that's another thing I wanted to show you is, see, when I coat it with the, the angle box, I just do the legs, okay? I did this back of the closet, only up to here. This, I just skimmed by hand. And see, up top, I just left that, just like that. 
that's good enough. It's the top of a closet. It's going to be full of shelves anyways. Nobody's going to see that. Same thing here. Um, if it's a bigger closet like this one. Oh no. See, I didn't even do these ones either. I just did the legs. Not even the top. Because when you open your closet, nobody looks up to see what's been done what hasn't and honestly one good coat with the super taper that's why it's nice because you could get a good full solid coat with just a super taper all right and see this closet obviously is big so it's the master it's a walk-in so now i see i gotta coat all my off angles still i showed you guys the video of me installing all those uh no coats it's mostly all in this master bedroom here. There's a lot of off angles. And see, because the trim is so close here, I didn't even put a piece of tape here. I don't know if you could see that joint, but by the time the trim goes, and I'm gonna mud this, so it'll, it'll hide itself. And even if it cracks, it'll crack behind the trim, right? So we can't do everything. We gotta do what we have to. All right, and see, that's how nice the angle box finishes your corners, your three ways. There's literally no cleanup, okay? Now, I just, I, I tend to, I just wipe it first with my knife just to get the dried up stuff off of the corner. And then I put some fresh mud on top. So right now I'm gonna jump up on the stilts and clean all my three ways everywhere because I just ran the angle box. And then once I'm done cleaning all those three ways, I'm going to uh, coat all my corner beads and my off angles. And that's it, ready to sand tomorrow. So far uh, I think it's been well, it'll be seven days, seven days, so not bad for 7,200 board feet. Anyways, have a good day, guys.